guys. It's Penguin and the Chef. How you guys doing? How's everybody doing on this fine? Uh, it's after midnight, and so it's Friday. It's Thursday morning, right? Friday, Friday morning. morning. Is it Friday morning already? It's Friday morning already. That's what happens when you don't sleep a lot. It Penguin rained. can't even tell her from a hole in the ground. It rained here all day. It's rained the last two days. I called my brother, who lives about 30 miles north, and asked him if he built an ark because they always get flooded up in that direction. But we went to Myers today, so we have a weed haul, yeah, have and their... went to Sam's to try to get chickens for the dogs. But by the time we got there, they were all sold out. Yeah, Myers once a month usually runs like an eleven for ten sale. They knock a little bit off all their small things, a lot of their small things, and then you get the eleventh one free. So it's always good to get one item free, right? Even if it's only a dollar item. So let's get into the haul so I can get some of this cold stuff over to the chef, and he can get it put it away. He wanted some more stuffed mushrooms, yeah. so we found some Bellas marked down. Whole mini Bellas for $1.61. And then we're going to have steak and mushrooms and... Peppers and onions. I thought we were having squash, summer squash and zucchini and peppers and onions. I don't know what all we're going to have, but we're going to have mushrooms with it. With the steak, I was going to cook peppers and onions and mushrooms. And then for our vegetable on the side, I was going to do that asparagus I bought with some zucchini and squash. Yeah, and so we got these for $1.19. And then I have been craving some pico de gallo, so I like to make my own. So in this bag, I've just got four big Roma tomatoes. And that in, goes in the pico de gallo. And then in this bag, I have some cilantro. You can see. Woo, got some fresh cilantro for the pico de gallo. And then, let's see what else we got. Uh, that's, oh, I'm not going to take them out of the bag, but some jalapeno peppers. That goes in that. And then we just got a couple of tiny, um, just a tiny yellow squash and a little zucchini. Yeah, these little babies. Just little, little bitty babies. Don't need much. So we got those. And can you set that over there for me? I'll put them in the crisper and stuff when I'm done. All right. And then they had their Holoha peppers, um, 10 for 10. So we just got one of these pretty Aloha peppers. They're, they're, aren't those so cute? I've never had one. They said they're supposed to be sweeter than a regular bell pepper. They're just so pretty. like those. Anyway, we got one of those and one just regular green bell pepper. And then we were out of cheese slices, so we got this double cheddar. I think this is $1.99 at Myers. $1.88 or $1.99. $1.99. And then um, they had the Green Giant frozen vegetable things for um, 10 for 10 or a dollar a piece, whatever. So the chef got this one because the carb count wasn't bad. He said he'll just eat everything but the carrots. Yeah. So we got that. And then he got uh, broccoli and cheese. Lucky, lucky, eating broccoli and cheese. And all, I wanted some Brussels sprouts, so we got a bag of Brussels sprouts. I like to cook these in bacon grease and pieces of bacon. And I just do my own thing with the Brussels sprouts because that's the only way that we really like them. I don't like just plain boiled Brussels sprouts. Eek. Okay. And... Got some more Crystal Light, the um, Acai Berry Bliss, and my favorite, which is the Cherry Splash. This one's hard to find, so if you guys can get your hands on this one, I'd recommend it. Sells out really fast. I like to get occasionally get a Diet Coke if we stop at McDonald's and get some nuggets or whatever, and put just a splash of this in my Diet Coke. So we keep one in the vehicle and one in the house. Okay, and then they had these also for a dollar, so these would make a good nighttime snack. These P3 Portable Protein Packs. This one's Turkey, Almond, and Colby. You don't get a whole lot, but I mean, it's good for a snack. And then they had the Turkey, Bacon, and Colby Jack. And this one, which is Turkey, Ham, and Cheddar. We got two of those. And then we got one of the Chicken, Cashews, and Monterey Jack. This one's mine because I like cashews. Okay, and then I got some Laughing Cow Cheese. I got the spicy, or the creamy spicy pepper jack. Love that cheese. 
And then they had these 50% off, so Chef got one to try it. He's never had them before, neither have I. $10 for a box of these, y'all. That's kind of pricey, but you get 14 in the box. And I think there's one carb for one of these. So it's not bad. I mean, we'll give it a try and see. He eats more sweet things than I do as far as like this. So be a good snack for him. And then we like street tacos, but found these. These are the carb balanced street tacos, but they're kind of thick. They're thicker than a normal tortilla. So I thought, well, when you want a pizza in a pinch, why not use one of these? It'll make like a personal pan sized pizza. When she said that, I thought maybe taking cut one in half, you might be able to open it up like a pita. I'm going to try. Well, they have low carb pitas, but. Right. I thought those would be smaller, low carb yeah, carbs. Yeah. I'm thinking personal sized pizza. That's what I'm thinking. And then we got some regular ones. We got the Limb Limbanderita carb counters. You get eight of them in the bag, and I think there's, what, four carbs? Yeah, four carbs for one of these huge tortillas. I think these are the 10-inch round ones. Yeah, we like those. And then we got some more carbonata noodles, of course. And Chef went into uh, Sam's, and like I said, they didn't have the chickens, but he did get me a big bag of the Doritos 3D Crunch. He paid $3.49 for this huge bag. And Walmart wants $2.99 or $2.98 for a small bag. So, heck yeah. Get the big bag. And I've been craving sauerkraut. We usually buy it in the bag, but since we're not eating that much, we just went ahead and got a couple of cans of sauerkraut. This little jar of paste was also on the dollar, 10 for 10. So, we got one small thing of paste. Picante sauce. And some pickles, because you all know me and my pickles. Got some of these Mont Olive Simply Pickles, Kosher Baby Dills. Got those. Got two things of Prego that was on 10 for 10. We got one jar of the marinara because it only has eight carbs per serving. And we got one of the tomato, ba tomato basil, and garlic because I think it has nine or ten. Was it ten? Nine or ten carbs per serving for this one. Uh, I can't remember. Though. I think the... I think the marinara was... The marinara eight. was eight. Yeah, I think that's nine. Yeah. Eight for the marinara, nine for this one. And they had the bangs on sale, two for fours. I've never had this flavor. It's the rainbow unicorn. So I'll give it a try. And then I've had this one before. No, I haven't had this one before. This is the peach mango. So I'll try those. Got a couple more ices. I got a pomegranate blueberry and a black cherry and the chef got three more of his fago diet root beers yeah lucky she found them on a cart where they were starting to stop yeah the aisles the aisle was empty where they normally have them but they had a cart sitting in the center and they were still wrapped up in plastic so i opened it and took three out his chips were on sale so he got four more bags of his veggie chips and he's been saying for a long time i want a hot dog I wish they made low-carb hot dog buns. I said, well, just eat it on a piece of bread. He's like, I don't want to eat it on a piece of bread. I want a hot dog bun. Well, lo and behold, what did he find today? Sola six-net-carb hot dog buns. And they're long. Yeah, they're like buns, like, you know, the hot dogs that are bun length. These are long hot dog buns. And there's only six carbs for a whole bun. They're kind of pricey again, but not as bad as the other. They had them on sale for $250 today. $250 for four. You only get four buns, but that's okay when you're craving a hot dog and you want a hot dog bun and they're nice and soft. So we're going to give these a try and see. I mean, yeah, for a hot dog bun, whoo, you better believe it. Hot dog all dressed. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, and as we were buzzing around, the chef saw, well, I saw this. And I was just looking at it, but it was the Mach Marichan Instant Lunch Hot and Spicy Chicken Flavored Ramen. And I said she has to get it. Yeah, it's got the hot gauge down here. And I love the shirt anyway. I probably would have got it anyway the way it was. But the chef is like, you've got to get this shirt so you can wear it during your hot and spicy challenge that you have to do for the video. So I'm like, okay, cool. Because like I said, I wanted it anyway, but... Just thought it was appropriate. I absolutely love, love, love this shirt. It was, uh, I think it was $28. 
Um, it was supposed to be 30% off. It, mar it rang up to like $18.60, I think, for this shirt. Love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. And then over in the men's section, they had a Tweety Bird. It says Lucky Charms. Pajama pants for men. So, Chef got a pair of jammy pants. And then, I just thought this was cool. They had this in clearance, too. It's just a journal. But when I first saw it, it just screamed 70s to me. <laughs> so, I liked it for the design on the cover. It's hardback. See the inside? It's like super, super cool. I just absolutely love that. But it says different things on the pages. It's got like um, inspirational things. And then like this one, it says, you have an unexpectedly free day. What do you do? So just really, really a pretty, pretty journal. So I don't normally buy journals. Like I said, I liked this one for the cover. So I thought, well, nothing else. I'll use it to help keep track of weight loss and stuff in it. So, and then, uh, what else did we get? Oh, we were kind of preparing for next St. Patty's Day. So we found the St. Patrick's Day stuff was marked down. So I got this. I just thought this was a super cute hat. Absolutely love this hat. See the little flower? Isn't it so cute? It's going to be my hat for next St. Patrick's Day. Good Lord willing, that is, because we never know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. And then the chef found a hat that he really liked. It's like a big top hat. It's like the one I was wearing last night, but this one's like really soft felt. Yeah, this and one's really soft. It's got the buckle on the front. And it's on the side. That's okay, the, the side, yeah, whatever. I think that's the front. I think yeah, the side. It's the side. Yeah, it's the side. If not, you'd look like a, a pilgrim. <laughs> anyway, this was like super cute. And then we found... Uh-oh. Where to go? Oh, here it is. We're going to alter this one, but this is going to be Pootie's hat for um, next St. Patrick's Day. I'll still get the lights put on it, though. Yeah, we'll put lights on it. It's actually a headband because it's got the headband and the ribbons, but... I'll take that part off and repurpose it, keep the ribbons and stuff, and we'll just make this Pootie's little hat for next um, St. Patrick's Day. Everything was marked 50% off, but I, Myers has them scanners. You can check yourself, and when I checked that stuff, they rang up 75% off, so. Yeah, whether your stores are doing that or not, we don't know. Whether it was an error or not, we don't know. But, yeah, when we got it for 75% off, you better believe it. Yeah, we but, went ahead and grabbed it. Yeah, all those things were a dollar and a half a piece, which is a lot better. Not yeah. the pants, but the hats. Yeah, so we went ahead and grabbed these three things for next St. Patrick's Day. But um, I have another haul that's going to be going up before this one. Um, I don't know when this one's going to go up exactly. But just wanted to share with you guys what we got and to show you about the low-carb hamburger buns. Because that's super cool. Any anytime we find anything that's low carb, we like to share it. Oh, and also, it's like, I was like really hungry. We hadn't ate anything, so um, Chef asked me what I wanted. And I told him, I said, nothing, we'll just go home and I'll get something. He's like, well, how about we go to Taco Bell and get a taco and you just eat the inside filling out of the taco and throw away the shell. I'm like, well, that's just kind of a waste. He said, well, we'll just ask him if they can make the tacos without the shell. So I did, and it's a good size bowl. It's pretty deep. They've had it filled to the top. But we asked for two Taco Supremes, and they fixed them up in this bowl for us. So that was, like, super cool, and they were pretty heavy. So it was just the meat, um, cheese, sour cream, lettuce, and tomato. And it was really good. I mean, it satisfied me. We'll eat again here in a little bit, but, yeah. I will definitely, we'll be doing this again. For sure. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, definitely good. So, I mean, you could probably go through there and get anything that you want. I mean, we've went through hamburger places before and ordered things without the bun or whatever, but I never thought about going. I went through Taco Bell and ordered a taco salad made the way I need it, but it's kind of costly by the time you add a little extra meat and yada yada. But anyway, just a thought, if you ever get, if you're on a diet and you're craving tacos, just go through Taco Bell and order the tacos you want and ask them to make them in a little bowl without the shell. A couple years ago, they had those chicken tacos out, too. It was just a chicken patty. That was the shell. I wish they'd come out with them again because I can have them on this diet. They were good. Yeah. The naked 
The yeah, naked they, chicken tacos. Yeah, they were good. I could. Yeah, they were, they expensive, were pretty like good. Said, they're a little expensive because you're buying a chicken, like a chicken piece that it would be on a sandwich. Yeah. It was good. I just thought the hat's super cute. Super cute. All right, guys. Well, that ends this haul for now. Um, we got everything we needed pretty much besides the chickens. We'll have to go back and get that. Um, like, like, I, like I said at the beginning, if you have a Myers in your area and you usually don't shop it, watch their ads or look online. That 10 for 10 sale is really good. Those little, those little snack things that she showed you. They're usually like a dollar twenty nine a piece, so they knock twenty nine cents off of them. Plus, you get that eleventh item for free, so it makes every you're only paying ninety cents a piece for things. Yeah, the little protein packs. Yeah, they had the ices. They were a dollar this time. They were marked down from the usual price and stuff. So okay, guys. Well, we're gonna go. Not gonna keep you any longer. It's already been fifteen minutes. So hope everybody's having a great one. Hope you have a great weekend. And the weekend might be over by the time you see this. I don't know. <laughs> Just depends. Like I said, we've got a haul to go up before this one. Plus, we're going to be doing a review on something over the weekend. And um, probably go on camera once over the weekend sometime. Maybe. Maybe. Depends on how we're feeling and how much sleep I get. Okay, guys. We're going to go. See you later in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Hey, guys. Happy hey, Saturday. Guys. We're getting ready to head to the park. Yeah, we're going to go work out. We stopped at Mickey D's real quick. And Burger King. Yeah, and Burger King. I got a... I brought keto bread this time. No carb bread. And I'm just going to put my quarter pounder on this bread. Yeah, I got me a quarter pounder too. And I bought a 10 piece for $1.49 with some ranch. The chicken nuggets are about the same as McDonald's. About, you get four for nine carbs. Yeah, something like that. Ordered extra onion on the the quarter pounder, but I got to get everything transferred over onto my bread. There's some more pickles. I got more pickles on this one. No, uh, uh But that's what we do. We just buy what we want and transfer it to our good stuff. And then we're going to go to the park and work it off. And then if we have a chance to after that, we're probably going to go to the store because we need to get a couple of things. There's a new pizza crust that I want to try to make and I'm not going to do that on video tonight though and um, some pico I will be making pico de gallo because I've been putting that off for a few days and it's hard to the only problem is is when they I need to have them start putting the cheese somewhere else because it's hard to it's hard to get the cheese off of the McDonald's bread so, oh, thank you. I called my brother and sister-in-law real quick because they're they're out puttering around on their golf cart right now. They're getting ready to leave early in the morning. They're going to take a trip to Branson, Missouri. Do you want any mustard? No, I got tons of mustard. They're going to take a little mini vacation to Branson, Missouri for about four days. Lucky asses. <laughs> Besides the quarter pounder, I ordered a $1.00 bacon cheeseburger at Burger King, so I put it on top of my quarter. I always have to get extra mustard. I like extra mustard. I don't always get it, but I try to get it when I think about it. Everybody having a good day? Are you having a good day, Chef? No. He's Krabby Patty today, I think. Did you not get much sleep? No, a lot. So. It's very warm here today, too. 75 degrees. Yeah. 75 degrees, sunny, and just a little bit of breeze makes it perfect. No, for you. For me, it's too hot. For me, it's perfect. And I'm dropping stuff all over me. I'm more of a, it can be 68 degrees person than it's perfect. If I could keep it like this all the time, I would. 75 degrees, sunny, light breeze. Perfect for me. So that's my sandwich after I got it all fixed up. Hamburger patty has no gill. I think there's like two carbs in the slice of cheese. 
Nothing in, pretty much nothing in the onion, nothing in the mustard, and just a little in the ketchup. ketchup. So, bon appetit. Chicken nuggets in the range right there. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, Bob. Chicken nugget. I ate mine plain most of the time. Yeah. And Pootie already had his food. We brought him some moist and meaty pouch. He always gets a little bit of chicken nugget, but he doesn't like fast food, so which is good. He doesn't like every once in a while, depending on how how long we've been out and how hungry he is, he might eat something. But a lot of times he just sticks his nose up at it and he doesn't want it. Yeah, most of the time. A lot of motorcycles out today. Gabe won't eat anything or drink when, when he's not at home. No, the shelter dog, no. Sandy, she'll eat about anything you hand her. Sandy's like me, she's a porker. <laughs> My big dog Gabe that died, his favorite meal was to go to Sonic. And he would sit in the front of the little, I got a little Ford Ranger I used to drive. And he'd sit in the front of the truck with me in the... If I was by myself and he wanted the popcorn chicken. You ordered him a whole large order of popcorn chicken and set him on the dash and canned him one at a time and he'd eat one at a time and sit there contently waiting for you to hand him another one. So we always worry when we're gone from home if we're gone very long because the shelter dog would literally starve himself to death. He doesn't like to eat when we're not there. So we always let somebody know when we're going to leave, and if they don't hear back from us after a certain time, then they need to go check on the dogs. It's like having kids. You have to have backup, you know? When our youngest son, he worked at the subway inside of the Walmart <clears throat> for a little while, and I went to pick him up one night after work, and Gabe went with me. Mm, so good. And I walked in, and he said he had about five more minutes, and so I just sat down and waited on him. I had the windows cracked outside. It wasn't hot anyway, but... They can't even see you. I came out, and there was a little girl pointing at my truck with a woman, and she was laughing at it. And I looked over, and Gabe was sitting in the oh. driver's seat. I wish I'd had a phone or a camera on me. I didn't have nothing. He was sitting in the driver's seat, and he had his hands, his arms up on the steering wheel like he was driving. And he was just sitting there just looking around. Like, look at me, everybody. I'm driving a truck. Yeah, like he was driving. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Anyway, we got a Diet Coke, and we don't normally like just a plain Diet Coke, so we brought, we brought this. This is our Crystal Light Cherry Splash. And we just give a squirt inside the Diet Coke. Yeah, it makes it a little bit sweeter. Makes it taste a little better, so. You guys notice that when you go to fast food places, every one of them tastes different, depending on how much carbonation and syrup they got going into it. Even in Diet Cokes, you'll go one place and it'll be real watery, and the next place you go... The Diet Coke will be all right, but it'll have too much carbonation in it. We had a Pepsi the other day from somewhere, man, and it like, burnt your throat. Mm -hmm. You had to wait like a half an hour for the ice to melt down for it not to burn your throat. That tasted, was like super fizzy. Yeah, it tasted good, but they never get their machine set right. Yeah. That was like super, super fizzy. McDonald's got it right this time. We ordered extra onion, and they actually gave us a lot of onion. Yeah, usually they don't, but... Yeah, you, uh, you order extra onion and you lift up the bun and there's like one or two little pieces of onion. Like all they were going to give you was one sliver. So you order extra, you pay for it, and they give you like one extra sliver. That's all you get, cheap asses. Mm. Burger oh, King. well. Burger King's got out now a new hand breaded chicken sandwich and a spicy and a regular. Mm -hmm. The picture looks real thick, but you know how pictures go. Theirs looks better than McDonald's, but we didn't try it. We tried a McDonald's one. I didn't. McDonald's, I wasn't. Eh. Even the plain one that was supposed to be the best wasn't. Eh. Compared to Popeyes, yeah. We need to try the Burger King though one time. There's a. There's a. Uh, what is? What's it? Mm. Chicken fill is that the name of it? Want a bite, guys? Is chicken fill is that the Chick name? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. In the next town. But every time we go through there, you'd be waiting forever, man. There's a, that drive through never ends. And that's funny because I don't think their food's that great. A little bit I had a couple times, wasn't but I don't like Chick-fil-A. I'd rather just bypass it. Not in their grilled nuggets. Mm. 
Mm -mm. It's pickle. Don't like those at all. So you guys want to go work out with us? We gotta go work out. It's supposed to rain the next couple of days, so I figure we better work out now if you want to be able to show it on Tubby Tractor Tuesday. So, Chef was talking about going to a town that's probably about an hour north of here. I kind of wish we were going because there's a little five and dime mom and pop store up there, and I think it would be really cool because you don't see that many of those stores around anymore. They got some odd stuff in there. Odd stuff, fun stuff. You crafting ladies would absolutely love that place. Oh, and the yeah. prices are cheap. They have all kinds of cool stuff. But it's a little late in the day to go now. Maybe we can take one of those rainy days and go up there. They sell seasonings too. They got a whole big aisle of seasonings. Oh my God, the seasonings, yeah. And I'm out of fried rice seasoning. And I think that's the last place I was able to find it. Mm -hmm. Either that or Royal King. Yeah, I, I, I don't think, remember. I think it was there, but... That's another place we haven't been in a long time. I'd like to go with Royal King. I love going to Royal King. It's a cool store. They have a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah. And they got sugar-free jelly bellies there, too. Do they? Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever had the sugar-free jelly bellies? They're really good. How many jelly beans can you get? I can't even remember. I think it says 27 has three carbs. Yeah, 27 Jelly Belly Jelly Beans for three carbs. <laughs> you better believe it. That's some good stuff you're talking about right there. On. He eats a lot faster than me, but then I always talk. So, I talk more than he does. That was pretty good. It was a, it was a quarter pounder with extra onion and then a Burger King... One dollar. It's off their one dollar menu. Their bacon cheeseburger. It had a. It had a couple small strips of bacon on it, and the burger patty and mustard ketchup and pickle. Whenever I order something with bacon, I just take the bacon off and give it to the chef. I don't eat it. This is my fourth nugget, so I gotta stop after this. I haven't had no nuggets, and the way I'm feeling after eating this, I'm not gonna be having any right now either. Whatever we have left, I take home, and since it's not much, divide it amongst all six of them, so they all get a nibble of something. Yeah. The dogs like to have their little treats out, too. For sure. We got our Powerball ticket for tonight. Not as if we'll ever win, but... Yeah, the one time we don't buy it, then the numbers will hit. Yeah. I think the most we've ever got was two numbers in the Powerball. Yeah, yeah. One of these days, though, you just never know. You know what they say, if you don't play, you don't win. And here lately, the Powerball's been coming up two times in a row. Last Wednesday, or last Saturday, it was 18. And then I'm going to last bite a burger. Yeah, but I don't want the bread. You don't have to take the bread. Just take the burger. I get it full fast. I haven't even had any of my Doritos for the last... Last night was the first night I'd had any in like three nights, I think. Remember what I told you on the last truck? I enjoyed truck? them. Remember what I told you on the last truck bang? Tries to keep me fat. Everything she doesn't eat, hands it to me. She just did it again. Proved you it always say you don't get enough protein. Proved it on camera. <laughs> He's so full of it. Well, we better get going. Okay, guys. We'll be back later on making some pico de gallo. If you want to see how I make mine, stick around. And we need to get to making some of those keto brownies, too, and see how they turn out. Yep. Those would be really good. Yep. See you guys All right, later. guys. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Just taking a ride through the park. Pretty, pretty day. Nice shelters. It's a pretty good-sized park here. It's not a state park.
Yeah, there's a big lake down there, but you just can't see it. 30 acres. I bet there's people out mushroom hunting if it's... Yeah, it's still a little early. We get a few more warm days like this. And a little bit more rain, yeah. We have some nice mushroom hunting weather. Sometimes we get some in our yard. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear him or not, but a couple of years ago we had a lot of morels popped up in the yard. Had enough that me and the chef had a couple of good mushroom fries. For sure. My mom used to make scrambled eggs and fried mushrooms. A lot of people eat mushroom sandwiches and they're really expensive here. If you go, there's a mushroom festival once a year. People put like five or six mushrooms in a bag and sell them for like 40 or $50. That's how much they're wanted. And if you go to buy them at the store, yeah, like. $50 a pound for those mushrooms, but they're worth it because that's some good eating right there. Very good eating. So. Alright, we'll be back. We're just turning this on, just kind of moseying through the park, and we'll just speed it up or something. Just thought we'd take you guys along for the ride. There's a 